In a world obsessed with appearances, hair loss can be more than just a cosmetic concern. It's often a silent emotional journey interspersed with scientific queries. What causes it? Can it be reversed? And if so, how? While science offers concrete explanations and potential solutions, it's the personal stories of those enduring hair loss that imbue the facts with feeling. In this video, we've blended scientific research with personal stories to give you a comprehensive insight into the world of hair loss. So stay tuned to uncover the facts and connect with real life experiences. Unraveling the science behind hair loss. Hair loss, medically termed alopecia, is a phenomenon where the normal shedding of 50 to 100 hairs daily increases, leading to noticeable thinning or bald patches. The complexities behind hair growth and its loss, particularly in conditions like pattern baldness and alopecia areata, have been extensively studied in the past decade. Hair loss can be triggered by a variety of factors. Stress-related events such as prolonged illnesses or significant personal losses can lead to a condition called telogen effluvium, where the hair prematurely enters its shedding phase. Certain medications, notably antidepressants and chemotherapy drugs, are known inducers of hair loss. Health conditions, including thyroid disorders or imbalances in sex hormones, also play a role. Similarly, a lack of essential nutrients, particularly protein, iron, and zinc, can contribute to hair thinning. Autoimmune disorders like alopecia areata target specific areas for hair loss, such as the scalp or eyebrows. Physical stress, as seen in hairstyles that pull and strain the hair, can result in traction alopecia. Additionally, pattern hair loss, known as androgenic alopecia, is a blend of genetic, hormonal, and age-related factors, and is prevalent in both men and women. Furthermore, research in 2021 highlighted the profound effect of chronic stress on hair health. The hormone corticosterone acts as a deterrent to the active functioning of hair follicle stem cells, which in turn diminishes hair growth. Another intriguing aspect of hair health involves the muscle encasing each follicle, known as the dermal sheath. This muscle plays a pivotal role in hair loss as it orchestrates the hair growth cycle. It achieves this by contracting, thereby dictating the stage the hair is currently in. By inhibiting this muscle's contraction, there could be a potential avenue to mitigate hair loss. In essence, the causes of hair loss are vast, encompassing both genetic and external factors. As our scientific understanding deepens, there's growing optimism for devising more potent interventions against hair loss in the future. Diagnosis. Hair loss, affecting countless individuals globally, is multifaceted with causes ranging from genetics to underlying medical conditions. Accurately diagnosing the reason behind hair thinning or loss is crucial for effective treatment. Dermatologists use techniques like the pull and tug test to gauge the severity and type of hair loss. In this test, gently tugging a bunch of hair helps ascertain if there's active shedding, pointing to conditions like telogen effluvium or alopecia areata. The tug test, conversely, assesses hair fragility and potential shaft issues. For a closer inspection of hair growth patterns and health, the card test is employed. By placing a colored card against the scalp, doctors can discern hair health, identifying conditions from telogen effluvium to hair shaft anomalies. Trichometric analysis delves deeper, using a digital tool to examine the scalp and hair. This microscopic camera captures the intricacies of hair and follicle health, offering invaluable insights into hair density and strand thickness. When suspecting infections, a fungal culture examination is conducted. Detecting conditions like tinea capitis, samples are taken from the scalp or hair with lab results confirming or ruling out fungal infections. In cases requiring a comprehensive analysis, a punch biopsy may be recommended. This procedure, especially effective in identifying forms of scarring alopecia, involves extracting a small tissue sample from the scalp for lab evaluation. To rule out underlying conditions causing hair loss, dermatologists might also suggest blood tests. These tests ensure a deeper understanding of potential reasons, be it vitamin deficiencies or hormone imbalances. Lastly, photography aids dermatologists in monitoring treatment efficacy. By comparing photos from various stages of treatment, a clear progression or regression can be charted, aiding in future therapeutic decisions. The battle against hair loss is intricate, but with a combination of scientific methods and real-life experiences, many find pathways to understanding and managing their hair health better. 
Before we move forward, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to stay informed about the latest hair care solutions and much more. Treatments. Hair loss can sometimes be slowed or reversed with effective treatments. For conditions like alopecia areata, natural regrowth might occur. Two primary treatments are medications and surgery. Medication. If hair loss stems from an underlying disease, treating that disease is vital. Some medications might cause hair loss and discontinuing them might help. For hereditary baldness, minoxidil, available as Rogaine, is an over-the-counter topical treatment requiring daily application for optimal results. Then comes finasteride, which is known as Propecia, is a pill for men offering potential hair regrowth benefits but with side effects like decreased sexual drive. Additionally, treatments like spironolactone and oral dutasteride, branded as Avidart, are also prescribed. Hair transplant surgery. This procedure involves transplanting hair from a hair-rich area to a bald spot. It's outpatient but can be painful and more than one session might be required. It's effective, but hereditary hair loss can still progress over time. Insurance usually doesn't cover this surgery. Laser therapy. Laser therapy has received FDA approval for combating hereditary hair loss. While initial studies suggest a promising increase in hair density, further research is essential to understand its long-term effects. While solutions are available, the results vary, and understanding the cause of hair loss is essential before choosing a treatment. Real Stories – The Human Perspective Hair fall is a common problem, but it should be dealt with with empathy and care. Our societal perspectives on hair often tie it closely to self-worth, femininity, and identity. Here's the real-life story of Gianna Turner, who was diagnosed with alopecia after a scalp biopsy at age 8. Turner, a model and CEO of House of Anomali, faced complete baldness by 12. Once boasting beautiful 4C reddish-blonde hair, alopecia transformed her self-perception as she faced bullying and stigma. Despite these challenges, as she grew older, Turner embraced her identity, realizing her worth wasn't tied to her hair. With support from her mother and personal resilience, she learned to navigate the world with confidence, irrespective of her hair situation. In another story, Taylor Abelman, at 27, experienced phases of hair thinning since she was 22. While abroad in Italy during college, she noted excessive hair fall but attributed it to stress. Multiple doctor visits provided no conclusive diagnosis, though telogen effluvium was suggested by one, which is a condition caused by system shocks, often hormonal, resulting in temporary hair loss. With each shedding cycle, Taylor faced anxiety, questioning if she'd lose all her hair. Her inclination to blend in conflicted with the attention she'd draw with noticeable hair loss. Today, Taylor uses hair wellness vitamins and focuses inward for confidence, realizing people might not be as observant of her hair thinning as she initially thought. Hair loss, while scientifically understood as a consequence of genetics, hormonal imbalances, or external stressors, often carries a profound emotional and psychological weight. As science offers insights and potential solutions, it's the lived stories that remind us of the resilience, adaptability, and strength of those grappling with hair loss. We hope these narratives have illuminated the importance of empathy, understanding, and the urgent need to destigmatize discussions around hair loss. If this video has been enlightening or helpful in any way, or you've got an inspiring hair loss journey, please share with us in the comments below.